Oak Ridge Wines in the Yarra Valley is our top winery, our winery of the year for 2023. A very exciting winery and David Bicknell is the long serving chief winemaker and manager there. He's been working at Oak Ridge for over 20 years uh, and making fantastic Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Cabernet and so on. See, the thing is with 864 Pinot is in the early years, we moved around a lot from vineyard to vineyard. And it wasn't until 2016 when we bought Hazeldean and Ray Guerin led us to Hank that things really started to fall into place. And when we got hold of those vineyards, when we were running the vineyards and we weren't buying grower fruit, when we became the growers, it changed forever. The management that we put into it and the cultural practices we put into it very quickly started to change up what we were doing because we really grow us as winemakers there's nothing special we do we just try and be careful and so it's been a product of getting the plant right that crop right and everything's just kind of fallen into place because we've got two very good sites that are capable of doing this 2021 is an interesting vintage because it would be false of me to not say that we had nothing to do with it you know, the crop level, bunch weight, bunch size, berry size, flavor, ripening time, all of those things, you know, they just hit that wonderful little sweet spot in the middle and, and it was easy. I mean, we got ourselves into that position, but it was a, it was a really good vintage. The evolution of house style with Chardonnay came easily. It was very much a vineyard driven notion and it's been harder to replicate that with Pinot Noir for whatever reasons, probably principally. Um, where we were getting fruit from. Pinot Noir, when it doesn't like the site that much, it doesn't give you wines that you like that much. Fruit purity is the most important thing and we try and keep these wines as uncluttered as possible. And for some vineyards we've introduced, we have introduced more whole bunch because it's worked. For some vineyards we've reduced it vastly because that's worked better as well. And the classic case with that is 864 Syrah, where we were down the rabbit hole of whole bunches with that for many years and since we've drawn back on that the wines have been better balanced more fragrant you know and this is what happens with winemaking it's nothing set in stone it's a it's a moving target and will continue to move